how to Wednesday works is I'll tell you a bit about what's going on around here at now site. And then like, I let you guys kind of lead the way, right? So this is all about you. You get to ask any and every question that you have, whether it's like, Cheryl, I'm just getting started. I'm new here. I don't know where to begin. How do I train my AI? What about onboarding? You can ask those questions, right, Blakester? See him shake his head? Yep, great. If you have been here a while or you're like a techie person or you kind of like all things technology and you're like a, a guru, cool too. Love you both the same. You can ask any question that you like as well. That's kind of the big thing of what we do here, okay? Okay. You are so good looking. <laughs> the knee. <laughs> that is a reference to Seinfeld. It's the only reference I will ever get. Um, thank you, Janine. I appreciate you. <laughs> that was beautiful. All right. So, um, yeah, you can ask any and every question that you have. So here's how it works. All you do is you raise your hand, just like my friend Michelle uh, is doing here. It's like a little button there at the bottom. And we just kind of get in line. We're really polite to one another. And we ask any question that we want. Okay, cool. All right, let me tell you a bit about what's happening this week here at uh, Now Site. If you want updates, new customer, existing customer kind of updates, we have a website that's built every single month. So the website is january 2024.now.site okay on in february it's going to be february 2024.now.site in march it's going to be march 2024.now.site so it's kind of a living breathing thing so it changes often like as things change so i'll like you know update it and go and change it and make sure that you have the most up-to-date info, okay? So living, breathing, yes, it's there, cool? All right, um, tomorrow, Thursday at 12 noon Eastern time, this isn't for everybody, um, but you're more than welcome to come and hang out, but we're, we're kind of gonna do a, this is my first time ever, like I really needed to be super duper slow, like onboarding, check post check like really slow everybody like like first day kind of vibes okay so that's tomorrow at 12 noon eastern time right here at now say dot online okay everybody got it get it great so like i said i love you guys to to lead the way of how to a uh, wednesday so we're gonna go michelle julie kim and you can feel free to raise your hand anytime during it. If something hits you, bam, you raise your hand, okay? So um, Michelle, who took us down a rabbit hole yesterday, um, is going to try her best to, to not take me down one today. I'm just kidding, Michelle. Love to you. Um, <laughs> just a simple one today. So the, um, the, Jan, like the monthly um, updates that you just spoke about? Yeah. Yeah. Are they shared in the team section at all for like affiliates to be able to go and grab and put up? you know, join now button on? No, I don't share them inside of the uh, team section, but you can ask anybody in support to share it inside of your account if you want, and they'll uh, share it. The The thing that I, I try to stay away from and why it's not in there is like imposters, right? So somebody will make theirs, jen2024.now.site, and it'll look just like it, but it'll have their affiliate link. And then Thomas goes, Thomas is like, hey, Judy, I don't even know Thomas, but love to you. Um, Thomas is like, hey, Judy, check out the all the info that's happening here. But now, it, you know, it's like referencing Thomas and so on. And and that began to uh, take place in the past. Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah. That was it. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Nice to see you, by the way. And thanks for letting me tease you. Uh, <laughs> Julie, hey, what's happening? Hey, Cheryl, thank you for all you do. We appreciate you, darling. So uh, question for you with respect to the newsletter component. Yeah. How can you I just I'm having a hard time finding where to even do that inside. Like when I'm logged in, it, 
any chance you could give us just a quick like share screen and just walk like where do we find how to make our newsletter like our e newsletter okay thank you so much for sure so how how okay let, let me just back everybody up for a second if it's okay julie so basically when julie's talking about a newsletter it's like she has a list of people and every once in a while she just wants to send one email to this list of people and it's a newsletter right so it could be like a monthly update or i don't know uh we have a fun fact friday or something i have no idea what i'm saying you know but like just as once in a while i want to send this entire group an email often knows that known as a newsletter okay so not a series of emails just one okay and let them know what's happening so that's what i'm gonna uh share right now so the first thing that you have to have is a list, right? And Julie probably knows this, but Julie, I'm trying to back everybody up, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is have a list. And that list can come from people who have opted into your website, so they filled in a form, they're on that list. Or let's say you were getting prospects, you're part of the unlimited plan, you've created a list of these people, right? So you could have multiple lists of people that you want to send this newsletter to. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the marketing bullhorn section. You have to be a marketing customer in order to have this feature, by the way. So you're going to go to email. And you're going to click to add new. OK, now you can build it yourself if you want to. Or you can build the entire thing yourself if you want to. Right. Oftentimes, newsletters specifically are probably built by themselves or maybe using the AI chat, you have some tips or something that you wanna share, you have something specific that you're trying to get across. Like, hey, we have a Zoom or an event coming up. But we're just gonna use a uh, cup of cocoa as the example, cause it just works the same. I don't really have a campaign objective. I'm gonna name this uh, demo for Julie, okay? And I'm just gonna build this email. Now, we should know, and Julie should know, you could change, add, edit, anything that you want, buttons, you can craft it to your heart's content, okay? And that's not even getting to, to Julie's question yet. So we're gonna, you know, come on, on AI, write so us a great email. Cheryl, yeah. when yeah. you are, as this is going, yeah. after this, can you just show us how do we become, show us where, how to become a marketing customer? Because I'm a customer, yeah. but I'm not a marketing customer. So I'd love to see those distinctions if possible. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Okay. So this is it. This, like, when you create a series of emails, you can have them send at different times. Your newsletter sends immediately. Julie knows you can add, edit, change any of this info, but I'm going to save and exit. Now, this is the difference between connecting a list and sending a newsletter. Okay. If I want to send a newsletter, what I got to do is select people that are on a specific list. Remember, I said they can opt in from a website or you could have created a list from, I have no idea, maybe you, you have prospects or you're just adding manually or you've uploaded a list. So you're gonna select your list and you can select more than one and you can keep adding. Once you have everybody there, you're gonna click the send button and that triggers a send of this newsletter or one-off email to everybody and then you're done. It, it can go away, cool? So you add, as many lists as you want, but then said it's over. Where'd Julie go? Jewel, cool. That's awesome. Oh, cool. Thank you. And now the marketing <clears throat> customer yep. distinction. Thank you so much. For sure. So let's go through. Ariel, do you have a specific question about that? that just yeah. Happened? Carl, can you show us how you put a link in between when you open that page now and you're going to put a link right there? You know? On the page where? Okay, you see, okay. Do I wanna edit this email? Yeah, okay. There, for example, you wanna put it, you wanna put it, what you say, you ever taste it, and then you wanna put a link right there. How do you do that? So you can copy any kind of text and then put a link. Uh, go slow, please. Okay, so 
if it's like, let's say this says click here, right? I highlight it. I grab the little winky thing here. Okay. Click it. And then I add the link I want somebody to go to when they click on link here or click here. Well, well. <laughs> okay. okay, Coco, thank you. Save my life. <laughs> Yay. Thank you very thank much. You. Where, where's my cape? I mean, I don't know. All right. That's what I want. Thank you. Um, capes for days. Thank you, Ariel. So Julie, Julie asks the difference between the kind of three plans. So we're going to go through it together. I think I have a simple way of explaining it but we're gonna uh, do it all together, okay? There's two different there's two different schools of thought here on how you can do it, all right. <clears throat> there's two different ways to understand it, okay? Whether you're visual or maybe you, you read in order to learn, it's up to you, right? You could read each one of these plans, okay? And this one says, my AI, and it tells you everything that's in my AI. Marketing AI, and it tells you everything that's in marketing AI. And then unlimited AI, and it tells you everything that's in it. All you have to do is go to now.site, click on get started, and take a look, right? Just look. However, this is what I like to do personally. I go in here. And what I tell everybody, right, is from here up, all the things that are highlighted. See them? That's my AI. I can join a team. I can add an unlimited amount of contacts manually. I have the help me reply feature. I can chat with my AI. I can train my AI and I can add an unlimited amount of business profiles. I can post on social media, comment on posts and even start conversations. If I want marketing AI, I get all of these things plus this section here, which is basically websites and emails. There's more to it, but when we're keeping it really simple, okay. If I want the unlimited plan, right, which is the third plan, then I get every single thing that you see here. So it's all of this plus get a prospect and creating a team. If you do want to upgrade, there's a section in here, right, where you can go, and I think it's plans and pricing, and you can upgrade. I don't have that option probably because I'm on some kind of craziness demo account. Or you could just ask support, which is bottom right-hand corner in the little blue happy guy. That's what I call him. I have no idea who he is. But that guy, I just ask him all the questions. Cool? So... I mean, I don't know which way you like to learn. I, I think I'm more of the like, hey, I want to see everything on the screen. That's just how I do it. But you could read it or you can kind of take it the way that uh, I, I shared or showed you, Julie. Hopefully that helps. Thank you, darling. It does. And is Eric training on all of those plans? Like, yeah. I mean, he he's part of every single one of those. Is that correct? So look, um, this is where they're like, Cheryl, she shares too much info. And that's why we come here. So <laughs> look, I can't say that there will be an unlimited amount of Eric training everywhere, like in every single plan, because then I'm backing myself into a wall and be like, Cheryl said, right. But I do think that, you know, right now the plan is to have uh, Eric in each one of the plans. To what extent? I can't really comment on, on that part. Thank you, darling. I really appreciate your generosity and sharing. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Uh, we have Kim and then Anne and then Arba, Richard, Barry, Debbie. Kim, what's up? Just wanted to share with you the number one question in 2024. Okay. When is my affiliate link coming for a brand new person to sign up in December? I can't answer <laughs> that question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you said how to Wednesday. <laughs> there you go. Good question. No answer though. Thank you, Kim. Um, and your question. Or Kim, did you have anything else? No, happy new year. <laughs> happy new year. Thanks. Uh and yes. Happy Hi, New Year. Happy New Year. I have a question about when I train my AI. Yeah. 
So the I I've only been on for about two months, so I'm learning, of course. And I added last week about I do crossword puzzles while I have my coffee every morning. So I added that into my AI. Uh -huh. And now every surprise me button is all about my crosswords and my coffee in the morning. I four times this morning. The surprise me button gave me the same answer. What do I, what did I do? I'm going to actually I, take you in your account and show you if that's okay. So can you give me the email address of your account? Yes. Do you want me to type it in? Yeah. Can you type it in? Or if you could just send it to me if that's okay. Or, or either you type it in. It's all good. Here it comes. Okay. Perfect. Oh, ah. Do you mind? Like, can I share the screen with your account up there? Uh, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, those, there's three different sections. I didn't know what to put in what section, really. Like, uh, anyway, <laughs> I That's just okay. put all kinds of stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cool. So, if you, I'm going to back people up again, Anne, if that's okay. All right. Um, if, if you're getting started, the first step that we do is we kind of go through, through this onboarding, right? And we answer a bunch of questions during it. It's like, hey, what's your name? What are your interests? What do you like? Blah, 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 blah. And you kind of get into it and you talk about the, your favorite music or movies or sports and stuff like that. Great. And that's part of you training your AI. Sometimes we kind of maybe overshare or maybe we share the wrong thing and it's like, oh gosh, now all it does is talk about, I don't know, I'll just put like something embarrassing for myself in there, right? Like it's, oh no, not this again. Yikes. So you can train or even like retrain your AI and the AI gets smarter all the time. So I'm going to share with you inside of uh, Anne's section, like where you can train your AI. So see this little AI button? And then you have this section that says train my AI. So we have things to learn about me, think like me, write like me, and brand me, okay? So we have a couple of things in here. So what information would you like to share about your family? Please share a few facts or stories about your background, culture, heritage, right? Um, are there any upcoming events, plans, or goals? So what I like to ask people, right? And even here, uh, specifically adding more goals and dreams is, is there is everything in here something that you would want shared or share worthy on social media, And Oh, yes. I wouldn't have put it in if I didn't want people to know about it. Okay, and part of um, adding, so what do you think is repeating for you? Can you so share? So if you go to, uh, yeah. is it brand, where did I put it? Is it brand me? Let me see, hold on. That's okay. I think it's under brand me. Okay. I put in the, in your story. Okay. Um, the last sentence. I just okay. added that last sentence about the crossword puzzles. <laughs> and my herb garden and that's all I get now in my surprise me button <laughs> okay so it's probably like oh look new information that I have to like pull from right right <laughs> so what I like to do is like sometimes mine in the past would overshare about like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that was like one of the things that I like added it was my favorite movie it's corny I know don't judge me <laughs> but look what if it's sharing too much of this and like the way that I kind of update or changes, if I've had enough of something, I'll delete it and then maybe re-add it back and add maybe a different fact or something that I want it to pull from. So sometimes it's not just adding more, right? But sometimes when I'm sick of something, just me, like personally, like I'm over this like fast in my life or whatever, I delete it. And what gave me that kind of idea or perspective, and I, I would say is my two sons just um, just changed ages, right? They both have a birthday in December. So I went back and I was like, okay, let me delete that. But now they're 13 and 15. 
And when I deleted it, it immediately stopped like oversharing about this half preteen kind of thing I had going. I was like, oh. So anytime it tends to overshare about a specific topic, what I do is I just 86 the topic. Then I share a topic that I'm much more interested in. And maybe I'll add it back or whatever, but it's finding that I think balance between like, I need to delete this thing or maybe add some back or whatever that really kind of speaks to you. So, and I think I, I went into a bit more info and sharing on your account. I hope that you don't mind because I think a lot of people have this question. Good, good. I'm glad. Good. Excellent. Thank you. For, so I'm going to have a look at that. I'll get AI to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and maybe add some of your likes or, or whatever, but I think it's really helpful to see hey, maybe I need to delete some things. Maybe I can add some things. If it tends to overshare something I don't like, I'll just get rid of it. And we uh, all need to learn that lesson from uh, Anne. So I really appreciate that one. Thank you. Great question, Anne. One quick, quick. Yeah. In the first section, learn about me, those three areas, does it matter what we put in those areas where it says about family? Does it matter that yes. we put other things or it matters to answer what, the AI, the question is. Okay, so um, I'm trying to not like uh, nerd out and say like where things uh, pull from. It's basically, it's okay if you add it, right? But it's it's probably specifically looking for family things like, Got it. okay, you know, it, it's okay because maybe you have like AI write and has some further details that you're not sure how to get rid of. I would call that a fine, but it will look specifically for family-oriented details. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Great job, yeah. Matt. Thank you so much. I think lots of people had uh, those questions, especially about training the AI. So awesome. Elaine, see, same, right? I, I think that's that's great. And Debbie, that's awesome as well. Great job. Uh, Arba, what's happening? Hey, happy new year. Happy new year. I have an actual question. <laughs> I know. Um, actually, Julie's question yeah. brought up this question for me that I've had for the longest. Every mm -hmm. time we create a business profile, yeah. a newsletter is yeah. created. Yeah. And so, and you can't delete these. And I've got I like a newsletter. Huh? You cannot do right. it. So Never. can you explain, um, I guess, because I think this is maybe, again, one of those older things that had some kind of purpose. It did. Um, so can you <laughs> give us the history on it? And yeah, why can't we delete it? And when we when will we be ever, ever able to delete it? Because it's like, yeah. really? Okay, thank you. So uh, it is a, a past uh, feature, right? We used to have something called three-click marketing way back when. I have no idea. It seems like decades ago. It was a few years ago. Super cool. But when you posted, it would automatically send people a newsletter telling them that you posted, right? So attached to some things like business profile or creating a website automatically creates a newsletter, which you don't need because we just learned from Julie how to create a newsletter, right? Which is much more, which is much better than the newsletter that is created now because we're using AI. So we just get rid of that section altogether or choose not to, uh, I guess, pay attention to it. What I do specifically, because you have to imagine, I probably have like over a thousand websites in my account, which all created a newsletter is I specifically click on campaigns, never the newsletter thing, and never all. So I can easily kind of uh, navigate more or search more. I'm not saying that that's the uh, perfect example. We are kind of getting uh, cleaning up a few things inside of the account, especially as we bring on more customers. One of them is not creating so many newsletters <laughs> for so many uh, things, but also we can't go back and delete a newsletter that somebody might have. So trying to stay organized, I guess, uh, it may be something in the future, but look, like that newsletter thing, totally follow Julie's way of creating a newsletter. That's the, that's the way it should be done. Otherwise that will be in the future. And, um, one of our things is cleaning up. I think the near future, we won't create so many newsletters. Okay. Cause I did 
I guess one thing is when I was following along with what you were saying with Julie is that I noticed that with the newsletter, you can't even select um, a group. Like, so yeah. It's yeah. way back. It doesn't, yeah. Like, okay. I don't even want to point people like Anne or, or pay, like give it uh, okay. attention no, to because I don't want somebody to be like, <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, that's that's what I was trying to say. I was like, I was like, maybe there's something I'm not because I'd be trying to use everything. So I was like, okay, is there some some kind of way I could use this too? But okay, all right, I got you. Thank got you. you for sure. Uh, Ask Shannon says it would be really nice if we had an option to select to create or not to create. Oh, meaning the news. I got you. Okay, yeah, we got to get rid of that. Um. Oh, Barbara, it's coming soon. It was part, uh, Barbara asked, when is the save feature for our post coming? That's January. That was one of the announcements that uh, Justin had made. And surprisingly to lots of people, not to me, I was very stoked. We did like kind of a poll, right? During uh, Justin's portion of the presentation that was like, what are you looking forward to most? And people were like, saving posts, right? Kind of like batching that work up, which I thought was uh, really, really cool, Barbara. So Yes, it became a, a little more of on the priority list. Thanks to everybody uh, voting. Oh, Lori says, yes, yes, we won. Um, awesome. Thanks, Lori. Uh, Richard, hey, honey, what's up? How are you? Not bad. Uh, uh, going back to what she was talking about, if you change your AI mm -hmm. to subtract or add, then you save it. And that's what it, it should work like that after you save it, right? Yeah. Okay. My question was, though, you were showing us how you could send out more than one group or one more e email list to more than one. Can you show us how you add the second one? Yeah. So here. And when you were showing the first one, somebody told me you got to even click on add to drop it down before it even adds that one. Yeah. So here's where I select my lists. Yeah, I understand that part. So now I select this list, so I click add. Okay, so that one's added. Okay, so now how do you do another one? You just put it in the list again? Yeah. Well, that's so simple. I should be able to do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a great question. Look, at, it's not always like, you know, I think when we're sending newsletters or something, we we kind of always think of the one specific list, not always realizing, hey, there may be more than one list or my list may have come from different areas or places. So it's a great ad and great uh, question, Richard. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. But the for, only for... thing you got to be cautious that let's say you're sending it to two groups that it doesn't go over the 500. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I think maybe, I can, thanks a lot. I think maybe we can handle that one. Perfect. Love it. Happy. Awesome. Uh, we have Barry next, and then Debbie Eloise Knock. Hey, Barry. Hi. Hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So I've got one question. Get a prospect in your system. Yeah. The upgraded version. Yeah. What does that? What, what does that mean? What, what, what like? It? How do you do it? No. What is it? I have no idea. So in the unlimited plan, I'll share my screen, okay? Mm -hmm. I haven't signed up yet for that. So that's why I was questioning. So we know what the social, the My AI entails, marketing AI unlimited includes this get a prospect and create a team. We have the world's largest searchable prospect database of 2.2 billion people. So you can go to My Prospects and you can search for prospects. They are one at a time, uh, Barry, that you can get. And you can search by city, state, country, interests and skills, gender, uh, job title if you want. Less is more here, right? So, uh, but you can search by whatever you'd like and you can essentially get a prospect. One a day? No, you can get as many as you want, just one at a time. Okay. Yep. So I can view this contact. This is Kathy. I can choose to write Kathy a message. I learn about her, her personality. I can find her on LinkedIn um, here. And I can decide if I want to connect with somebody like Kathy. And what information does it give you other than their LinkedIn? Does it give you a phone number and an email? 
uh, gives you Facebook. It gives you an email. It does not give you phone number. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Does cool. that help? Wait, good. Okay. <laughs> there, uh, there was a birth date. You can send her a birth date. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some a lot of them uh, have January one. Some sometimes, you know, the the uh, I guess depending on the birth date too. But yeah, check for birth date for sure. Barry, we good? Any other questions? That was it. Thank you very much. Well, that was easy. Thanks, Barry. <clears throat> uh, Debbie, what's happening? Can I ask a question related to his? Like you say, you can only get one at a time. What What if you wanted to say, send somebody 100 people an email or something? There's no way you can get that in. You have to do one at a time, eh? Yep. Oh, one boy. That's boring. Hey, you know what? Getting a list is also pretty crappy. You know, selling and buying a list that never converts is also uh, pretty boring. What I like about R specifically, and I tell people specifically to do, is don't email them. Email is cool, but if you wanna connect with somebody, connect with them on social media and actually create a relationship with them, you're probably gonna do a way better job converting, which, hey, you can send hundreds of emails all day, but I probably guarantee that I'll convert lots more if I can connect with them on social media, create a relationship and get to know them. But you're saying that's way better than your two billion list. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> My two billion list has uh, in, your, in your database. So connecting with somebody first is better than just taking random people out of that list. Is that what you're saying? I take the people out of that list, but I connect with them on LinkedIn. I don't email them. My option, you can email them. But my preferred option is to connect with them on social media, which I'm given for each prospect inside of my database. Just okay. like I showed you with this woman here. So this is our Kathy. I could choose to email Kathy, sure. But most likely I'm gonna probably try to connect with Kathy here on LinkedIn or a form of social media because I'll have a better connection with her than just sending her a random email. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, yeah, that's I know, but person, person gets greedy. You hate to do one at a time. You hope to do a bulk. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot again. Yep. Hey, Debbie, what's happening? Hi, Coco. First time here. Thank you. I have a basic question. What is a team? Yeah, no, it's not a basic question. It's a really great question, okay? So let's talk about teams in the in the world and now site. Okay? So we all have our, our teams, but we have a sense of now site. So how do you define team usually? A group of people with common interest. Right, or sometimes in the world of network marketing, it's like they're on my team, but not them but we're in the same company, right? Or they're on my left leg, but not my right leg, right? Or they're on my specific team, but they're over there on this team, right? So we could be in the same company and Debbie can have a team and Julie can have a team and Cheryl can have a team, but within the same company, right? One way to define different teams. Let's talk about how NowSite does it, right? If you are on the unlimited AI plan, anybody can create a team. Oh, if you're an unlimited AI customer. Inside of that team, I can create a bunch of shareable things. I can share websites, emails, videos, documents, PDFs, PowerPoint presentations, images, text, doesn't matter. I can share all of it. I can even share websites that people can download into their account and change it and make it their own, okay, inside the team section. If I have any, then any now site customer, no matter what plan that they're on, from my AI to marketing AI to unlimited AI can join a team. Only unlimited AI people can create a team. Anybody can join a team. When they join a team, you could decide if you want to approve them to be in your team or not. You can make your team, you can give people a link to join your team or not too but they would have to be a customer of NowSite to get the content that's inside of your team. Does that help? 
Yeah. So it sounds like it could be like the boards app, if you're familiar yeah. with that, built into NowSite if you're in with an active group. Very much. Same thing, right? You now can share all kinds of different content, boards, whatever. As long as they're a NowSite customer, you can see each bit of content and do whatever you permissions you allow them to, to do with it. They can view a website or download it or email or whatever it is that you want. Awesome. Thank you. Yay. How do you get people to join your team? You have to tell them you've got this team so and encourage them to join it or? Yeah. So let's say Debbie was in a company called, I don't know. Um, um, uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Yeah. Lipstick sellers. Okay. Everybody inside, like she can say, hey guys, what I've done is I've created a bunch of content, websites, email, sales. Okay. For you this all. part. Okay. Sales funnels for you all. If you join now site, you'll have access to everything that I've created for you. So she probably, the, the unlimited AI person probably already has a team in place. They just want to share content with that team. So basically invite people. That's, and then they can. Yeah, yeah. they have to invite them. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot again. <laughs> yep. Uh, great question. Debbie, does that, do you have any, are you clear? Good. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, Eloise. I think my question is, when will they be able to bring in new people? We haven't answered that question yet, and sometime in January, but I don't have a date. Okay, that's um, the main question. Thank you. Oh, any other question? I wanted you to go back and show how to join someone team. How do I join someone's team? Okay. Yeah. They gave so, me just like for instance, um, Melvin. He said uh -huh. more money, but then when I went out, it's nothing there. So let's say I go to Teams, right? Uh huh. And I go to Team Manager. Imagine. Okay. And his the name of his team is Doctor Money. Yeah, I put Doctor Money, but I don't get nothing. I don't see nothing. It's Doctor Money, one word. So you're you're gonna click on join a team. I, I had it separated. Yeah. So when you click on join a team, you can search, or sometimes the leader of a team will give you a direct link to that team where it'll open up right here and you'll be able to find them. Okay, I got it separated. Yep. Thank you. Gotcha, thank you. Uh, thank great you. questions, thanks, Eloise. Uh, knock, hey, what's happening? Hey. Hi. I'm not gonna ask the same question, so. <laughs> uh, a question on how to. So yeah. I have a e email, I guess a website email campaign, uh, a thank you survey that I created. And when I view it in the uh, preview for laptop, I can see the one banner. But when I view it in the mobile, that banner is gone. So there's like a, I don't know why it does that. So I don't know how to solve that. We tried. Can I, can I see, can you tell me the email address? Sure. It's uh, knocktran888 at gmail.com. So it's a website? Uh, I can share it right now. If you, I have it on screen. I, I, I want to navigate. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm on your... Uh, here. So if you go into the one that's called... Um, it's called Money 101 Survey. The website. Yeah, it's under the website. Okay. The Money 101 survey. Yes, that one. Uh -huh. So do so you see how that after Empower Your Financial Health, there's that banner. It says, we'd love to hear from you. So when you view it in the uh, laptop view, you can see it. But when you view in the mobile view, that is gone. There. You want me to fix it? What is it? So you can have an entire content section style be visible in both, but you also have to click on the section style visibility and make sure it's clicked on both. Under, hold on. Under, I'm going to bring you in my big monitor, not that I'm ignoring you here. I'm here. No, no, I'm with you. 
Okay. I know you're on two screens. Okay. So on the, you click back on, go back again. So see how I click here and, and the, the, um, the instinctive thing to do is to click on the content section itself and click on style and visibility, which is what you did. And yes. you're like, no, I see it. Why isn't it there? Yes. You click on this section inside of the content section, which uh -huh. is not so instinctive, right? Uh -huh. And then you click on style and then visibility. You'll see that you don't have it visible for mobile. Oh, so I see. Yep. Yeah. Okay, click on it, please. Yep. Yeah. Good. Save. Okay. Really good. Okay. Better? Oh, oh my God, you saved me. Thank you. <laughs> I tried, tried to solve that. <laughs> Happy to help. I appreciate you. Yep, appreciate you back. Great question. Thanks, Nath. Yeah. Um, Debbie asks, do you have to be invited to join a team or can you search by a company? So most people aren't like, I created a team because of a company or make the team name their company name, right? And a lot of people like... I have no idea. I'm just going to pick on Julie because Julie asked a question earlier. Sorry, Julie. But like, let's say Julie has a team in this lipstick company that we made up. Does she necessarily want you joining her team? Probably not. No offense. Julie seems like a nice lady, but she's like, look, I created all this content for my people. Why are you trying to get in? So she probably has some kind of approval setting or something like that. So when it comes to company specific content, less like now site content, then it's probably best if you're either creating the team or finding the owner of that team and saying, hey, what's up? Do you think it's cool if I join this team or, you know, maybe get the content for that specific team? Just, you know, you, you don't have to be invited. I'm just, you can always just try to join. Maybe somebody's is open, but I was just putting it out there all aspects of it. Debbie, does that help? You don't have to be invited, but you do have to be accepted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it makes sense. I was just, um, I guess, assuming it would be more of an open attitude of let's all learn together, I'll share together. But I also understand the um, perspective that you're bringing to that. Yeah. Cool. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but when I was in like the, the world of network marketing, like actually in the field of network marketing, I was really like, you want my content? Well, great, join my team. Sorry you didn't. See ya. <laughs> and I know a lot of people have that kind of attitude. I'm being just very straightforward or blunt about it. I get it, right? But um, I, I think, you know, that it's, people are like kind of protective over the content that they've created or whatever but hey that may not be everybody so you can ask but they don't have to accept just a thought debbie but love you because you have very open nice much more kind <laughs> probably like yeah right coco get out of here uh knock are we good cool awesome uh we have ask shannon so shannon what's happening Hey, 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 beautiful lady. Thank you very much. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I have a little old habit that I need your help with getting out of. <laughs> okay, so 31 years network marketing, and you know oh, how we used to do it, just build a list and blah, 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 blah. Well, honestly, now site has eliminated a lot of having to do that. Ooh. Um, And so I have this blueprint that I'm launching Mm -hmm. about working through social media and of course I'm offering the now site platform as part of mm -hmm. that blueprint mm -hmm. in your professional opinion mm -hmm. as far as now site is concerned so there's the sales page the VSL and all of that for the blueprint but when it comes to now site should there be an option to log in or just put it on out there because I've been trying to get them to create a now site marketing page but what I keep getting back is not mm, what I really want. Now, I did see somebody out there I'm not going to call out that has the perfect page. I really want to steal it, but I'm going to be nice enough to inbox and ask. <laughs> um, so I guess my point is, should I do the form of logging in or has it been a lot more successful? And anybody can chime in on this professional just to go send them straight to the page. This is my wheelhouse, huh? 
<laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think Laura Smith is on here, so I'm just going to check and see if she is. Hold on. I'm here. I'm over there chatting. I'm typing in the chat. Laura <laughs> <laughs> Smith will back I'm me up and say, this is Cheryl Coco's wheelhouse of how she's built a business from the time she was in network marketing, not 31 years. <laughs> what I did was I offered a lead magnet. You came in. I gave you great content. I converted you into a sale. And I always had a list. And the moment that I had a new opportunity or something to join, I would hit that list and people would join and people would go, wow, man. Cheryl there you Coco, go. A great yep. network marketer. I was like, no, 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 I'm just great at the list. So tell me, I'm going to get really niche with you because I love this subject. Um, tell me about the blueprint. The blueprint breaks down and gives you a roadmap of how I built my team of over 7,000 strictly uh -huh. through social media. Awesome. Okay. Do you sell the blueprint or do you offer the blueprint? as a lead I map? sell the blueprint. How much do you sell the blueprint for? Seven dollars. Okay, so you sell the blueprint for seven dollars. Uh -huh. okay. How do you sell the blueprint? Do you have Stripe or what? What, what is the um? What What are you using to sell it? Like the software? Yeah. What so What merchant service do you use in order to sell? Oh, Stripe. Got gotcha, you, Stripe. Okay, so when you use Stripe. You're, are you, do you automatically collect a list of all of the people who have purchased your, your, you know, thing, your blueprint? Yes, because, you know, I also have the bump order form, the upsell and all of that following it. Yeah, but they have to provide that information before you get anything. Okay, so I would say is one of your upsells now site. That's, no, like, it's not even an upsell. It's kind of like a... No, form, right? no, the, the, the link the is sell. in the blueprint. Yeah. So, okay. What is your upsell from Stripe? Um, the upsell is the masterclass. Okay. So masterclass, how much does your masterclass cost? Uh, 197. Okay. So masterclass costs 197. So we want to make the $7 from the blueprint. We want Well, it goes from seven to 37. There are a couple of things in between, but the ultimate upsell is the 197. Okay. But on your checkout, are you uh -huh. going from seven to one ninety seven? Uh, no, I go from seven to thirty seven to ninety seven to one ninety seven. Okay, so they have three options during the upsell portion. Yes. Okay. And well, they it's different offers. There's the audio. There's the community. Join yeah. the community. Yeah. Yeah, different offers of the three offers, right? Thirty seven. Right. Blah 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 blah. Have you ever? So, do you have a down sell to your offer if they choose a no? Uh, yes, it's a split payment. Oh, that's cool. Good one. Okay. Do you have a, <laughs> that's a good one. I love this. Keep it coming, Coco. You helping me think through it. <laughs> you have a second offer after your 37, 97, 197? Uh, the, oh, that's okay. sorry, lost my earpiece. That's okay. So it goes from the blueprint to done for you. To, to done with you, to done for you. Mm, interesting. And how much is your done for you, done with you? Uh, done with you is the 197. The, the, the done for you comes a little bit later. Um, so, if I mean, they... after your three plans, okay. 97, 197, do you have another upsell? No. Okay. Have you considered? 197 is the top. Okay. Once the person chooses a 197, can you do another upsell? Well, once they choose the 197, those 197 get pulled into a community where we kind of connect more for a bigger, high, or higher ticket. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about during the checkout process, though. No. You know, check, okay. So do you know... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm about to... No, I see the oh. excitement. I'm getting excited. <laughs> One of your best conversions from a 37, 97, 197, whether they choose to the upsell of 37, 97, 197, what you have right now is a free offer. You get them to get the tool for free. Right now you have a 30 day offer that you can offer in now site, right? You could offer- Yeah, I missed that. <sighs> okay. So you'll whatever offer or promo that you have, 
what you do on the, uh, because you're offering a straight 37, 97, 197, you want to show a discounted offer after the upsell that you have. So you're like, Hey, $7. Hey, here's the blueprint. Hey, we offer this, this, and this after you get the blueprint to help you guide you along the way, by the way, this tool is awesome. You could try it for free. You could try it at a discount. You could try it at blah, blah, blah. But you're going to want it during the blueprint. As long as you can create a seamless connection between the blueprint that you offer, the offer of all of the 37, 97, 197, and then your offer to the tool, because tools and software are separate from training and offer. Absolutely. You, somebody goes, oh, shit, I'm going to, oh, sorry. No, nope, we're here. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm going to need that tool. And if you can offer a discounted tool at the time of after 37, 97, 197, oh, you got it. It's three yeses in a row. Yes, yes, yes. The power of yes. That's it. That's, that's it. Okay, that's it. So, <laughs> that's what I would do. For yeah, I, mi I miss this kind of collaboration with real network marketers because it's on, like you on the blueprint, right? So mm -hmm. th there's a multitude of ways to, to do it here. Um the um hold on, I got it. Uh, well, see, yeah, as part of the blueprint, that's one of the things because people look at social media as like, well, what if I don't know what to say or what if I don't this and what if I don't that? So one of the pages in my deck introduces that when it shows how we transform your trace Facebook profile into a lead generating magnet. Right. So you know how you have the offer of the blueprint, the blueprint gives them something, which is 37, 97, 197 uh -huh. then targeting network marketers, which you could give them something at a discounted rate, which is software, but you oftentimes give them another little time over the edge, you know, you give them that. So I have the same style of offer, which makes me very excited, but I would offer this one as my nudge. And this is the Ooh. ultimate guide to building your network marketing business, which is basically, it's not a blueprint. It's just a nudge to buy the software that would come next. <sighs> right? So this is all like memory jogger, hot and warm, like all the shit that you've learned in your 31 years. If you want the ultimate guide to building your network marketing business, feel free, you could use it as part of the upsell offer i'll put it here in the chat you can download it or email me and ask me and i'll, I'll send it to you but all of that all of that yeah please put it in that, the chat that's your offer okay? <laughs> please put it in the chat you know what Coco, love you to life you never fail you never Ooh. fail always over delivering <laughs> that was so exciting <laughs> yeah. i was like what always over delivering Amazing. look everybody's like put it in the chat I know that's right. <laughs> Don't forget to personalize it because I do the same thing in a course yeah. that I'm creating is I use my training module that I use for my team that I'm offering to them. But of course, all my personal links are in there. So I'm offering it to them as an example, how to set up their own boarding for their own team. There you go. It's right there. You're awesome. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's so good. Shannon is so good. I love this. Oh. It, it lit up my world today. <laughs> Thank you. Are we doing some marketing now? Everybody will like. <laughs> oh, this is so good. All right. I put the guy Thank there. Thank you, everyone, for giving me that freedom to just be in there with her for a moment. <laughs> I put the guy there in the chat. If you want to use it, feel free to snag it, but um, map out map out your offer, okay? Map out your abandoned carts. Map out how you want to proceed and, and nudge them right over the edge, okay? With your offer, it's going to be great. I love it. Cool? It's going to have been better. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Love to you, Shannon. Great question. All right. We have uh, Ariel and Stephanie next, and then we're going to kill for today. Ariel, what's happening? Uh, okay. I have the perfect solution for you, for us, for all of us. Okay. A beautiful motto. <clears throat> you say... Give and receive. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Give and receive. That's it. <laughs> mm. That was that's it. What it is. That's what it is. Give and receive. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Now, uh, can you show us? I love your what you showed before about the marketing, what you did before. Can we put it on our our 
a website or something? Can you show us how we can include no. it there? How's it? How's this website? Who knows? What is the website? I'll tell you in a second. I promise it's coming and you're going to learn in two seconds. I, I give you my word. Just give me a second. There we go. All right. So here's the website. So this is called uh, Lead Magnets by Cheryl Coco. I give it to everybody. Anybody could use it. That's the one. Um, I did not build this website. Andrea Levine did. She did a great job. Um, but here it is. You can download any ebook and you want to do the same. So you can use them, upload them to your own websites if you want. This one is um, the ultimate guide to building your network marketing business. That's probably been the most uh, used for me uh, years and years ago. But this one is five ways to get your mailing list started. This one is a long time ago, how to build effective sales funnels. This is copywriting basic sales page tips and tactics, setting gutsy goals, creating a greater vision for your life. Great vision board. Um, one, especially now for the new year. This was a quarantine survival guide that was way back during, you know, whatever. Uh, this is growing your business during social media, probably a bit outdated. It's time to rebrand. So you can feel free to use any one of these eBooks, create a website, tell people to opt in in order to receive it. Just put a picture just like this, tell people to opt in, and then they'll download the book and you'll generate the lead. Just kind of like Shannon. Perfect. Does that help? Okay. Yep. Thank cool. you. Yep. Even received. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, Stephanie Taylor, what's Thank happening? You. Yeah. Good morning, Cheryl. Thank you for Hi. this. Um, I got a email from a friend of mine last night because he was trying to sign up for a product that I, I market and I'm sending you the link privately. Um, anyway, I got it all set up. I thought, and so I've tested it a couple times. And what's happening is you put your contact information in there. It'll take you to the website, but you're supposed to get an email with a special, my special personal code for you to use to get the discount. And okay. I'm not now all of a sudden, I'm not getting a notification and you're not getting the email. And I'm not sure what happened. Like I went in there and I tweaked the, the verbiage for the 25%. Mm. But I didn't touch anything else. <laughs> and so now all of a sudden, it's just like, oh, my God. So. Where's my phone? I'm checking. I'm, I tried. I'm checking. And normally, I'd get a, a, a ping on my other um, okay. um, iPad here right away that I got updated with somebody that put their info in there. Can you tell me the email address of the account that this website is in? It's, uh yeah, I go me to just send it to you. Yeah, or you could yell it or send it or whatever okay. makes you. It's, it's easier just to send it because it's not spelled like normal. Okay. Hey, Steph, I got to cut you, you short because I'm like three minutes late for a meeting. Yeah. I'll record a video and send it to you through uh, email and show you how to do it, okay? I won't yeah, forget. no, that's great. I appreciate that, yeah. Okay. And if you want, if you want a shower head, just let me know. <laughs> uh. Okay, I promise I'll send you an email. Cool? Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Got to run. Love to you all. Bye.